Welcome back to Hondukiville, and yes, we are still sanding and painting. We're going to be uh, sanding the fins and painting the frame and more. And indeed, yes, what about a wooden badger? What happened to the wooden seat? Uh, well, it's uh, temporarily uh, not progressing. Uh, I'm actually going to do another entire episode on the wooden seat when I get around to it. So, having painted the cylinder heads, I'm now going to uh, just sand the fins on that bottom outside edge just to get an idea of uh, what it's going to look like because that will be easy to remask and respray if I need to. I, if I don't like it, because I've got a little bit of paint left. A little bit. Well, there we have it. Uh, yeah, a few little nicks and crannies in the fins themselves. Well, that's the overall look uh, compared to that, obviously. Yeah, not massively different. Not the same contrast, obviously, as with a, a matte black, because this anodized stuff is slightly um, translucent, reflective, uh, letting the silver show through where the light hits it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's worth the bother. I shall um, ponder the Honda. And uh, just FYI, I'm using a fairly rough 120 grit um, pad. You know, these uh, squidgy pads. They're kind of good. Just firm enough. Well, I've gone a step further, and uh, whilst not fully committed, uh, I think I'm getting that way. Yeah, not bad. Better than that. Yeah. Obviously, this was always the intention, so, um, you know, I'm only doing what I set out to do. Um, but at least I have the option of reversing it at this point. So I shall call it a day for today. And have a look in the morning. Over a coffee instead of a beer or a wine. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we're shedding some light on the subject. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll have to do the rest of it. Then we shall be wrapping the cylinder the heads up in order to paint the frame. A little bit of prep, obviously, on the frame itself. Bit of sanding. Yeah, favourite. And while I had the tank off the shelf, I thought I'd revisit the issue of uh, where the, uh, the feed is at the bottom. As you remember, it kind of crashes into the frame. It's kind of too close to the cylinder heads. And all in all, it is not a uh, Fitz CB750 tank. Um, yes, I'm going to post it on some forums and see what people come up with. Well, my new boots turned up today. And um, unless I'm very much mistaken, they're not quite the same as the originals. Yeah, I don't think. They all, well, they all look the same, and those two are definitely different from those two, and uh, they all look shorter than the originals, but we'll see. Hmm, coming on quite nicely. Looking good, ready to mask it up for painting the frame. Yes, we're wrapping again. Uh, this time uh, we're using bin liners, trash can liners, and... Um, Packing and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So just getting the engine masked up. And we're doing all kinds of painting. We're doing uh, Ducati painting. Yeah, 748 panel. Mm. Anyway, I won't film all of it because it'll be boring and tedious. Uh, but I will be uh, employing all kinds of masking materials. Well, it's kind of a time lapse video. There, I've bagged myself a Honda. Uh, yeah, obviously the front and back wheel are going to need a little more dressing um, but you know this is all this is all um, done and use the same technique with the covers and anything else can get sprayed black that's fine it's already black so we're kind of ready-ish to do the frame 
Exciting. Oh yes, and I left the bottom yoke because uh, I want to paint that. Yeah. Uh, however much I tried to tidy it up without vapour blasting it, uh, I don't think I was ever going to get those bits out. But anyway, it's nice and clean and smooth and will look good in black. Front end ready to go. Oh, I don't think that's too bad. All in all, not bad, and I like that bottom yoke in black. That's a good idea. Yeah. Obviously a little bit of plastic bags to get out when we put the uh, gaskets in, put the covers on for real. Yeah, I think that came out good. I like it. Nice. I'll give myself a pat on the back if I could, but I can't because it hurts still. So we're back on these. Um, this one does seem to be taller. Definitely these two seem to be the same. Not sure about this boy on the end though. He seems to be the same as those. Confused. Well, uh, this one's taller than the other ones, but not as tall as that one. Dow. Well, they're on in my best guess is the order, uh, but I'm not sure they line up. Difficult, because obviously you've got to twist them round. Those three kind of look okay. That one, as you can see, is a little bit protruding. You really know how much I hate protrusion. Shocking. Yes. Um, yes. Shocking. Uh, yeah, so this isn't turning out as straightforward as it should be. <coughs> I need some washes. Oh, I think everything is kind of skewy. Yeah, don't worry about that. I mean, that's way off. Because I need a shorter... Well, this is a very short, but I need a short one because of this. Time for a trip to Ace. With the use of a uh, motorcycle jack, because uh, this particular bike has nothing protruding underneath the frame at the bottom, so we've got a nice square base. Uh, I lifted it up. I've now secured with washers and uh, a lock washer on the inside as well, just to be safe. I have now secured the shock absorbers, and they look a little bit better. Mm. Still not 100% happy with those. We shall see. And we have an oil filter back in place. Yes. Coming together. Which of course involved a little Yamalube, as it does. Uh, 1040 is the recommended oil for the Honda. Uh, and it's just a dab on the thread and stuff and a slight priming of the filter after my um, experiences with the Stratos. Next up, putting the coils back in, I think. And of course, this brings up uh, some wiring um, decisions to be made. Uh, if you remember, and you probably won't, you know, I only just remembered. Um, but uh, yes, yellow and blue uh, matches yellow and blue from the coils. And uh, these guys had it kind of running just up here randomly. And you can see that's about the right length to uh, to marry up. Anyway, what I'm debating doing is running it down here, strapping it inside the frame, uh, possibly to about there, and then actually put drilling into the frame 
my idea, yes. Hide it and then running the wires inside the frame up here. Don't know whether we're getting round the bend. Oh, I might have gone round the bend myself. But either way, at that point, either carrying them along the frame there, uh, inside or out, not sure yet. Depends how feasible that is. And then uh, just bringing them out under here where we need them. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. I think I'll probably strap them to the frame here because the tank, um, whatever tank it is, <laughs> <laughs> That's still to be decided. Um, we'll kind of cover those up. So, yeah, and that's what I think I'll do. Probably should have thought about this before, uh, having painted the frame. Um, but I'm confident I can drill a nice little hole in there, which uh, I can grom it up. So that'll be neat and tidy. We're ready. Let's do this. So, you get the general idea. Bingo. So I'm pretty sure that where this connects to uh, the uh, the horizontal, I'm pretty sure there is not a hole in the horizontal. Any clearer this side uh, here. Yeah, there won't be a hole in this tube. So I'm going to have to pull the wiring out, which is fine, uh, out about here, and then just lead it up. Actually, I'll probably I'll lead it up here to the coil. Oh, yeah. Do keep up, cameraman. Oh, wait, that would be me. Mm, yeah. So, I've swapped the two end ones over, and that appears to line up better. Yes, congratulations to me for making a 10-minute exercise a uh, an hour long, probably. Can you imagine feeding the wires through the frame, trying to get them through the smallest hole possible? Um, yeah. Don't know why I bother. Anyway, plugs are plugged back in, and coils back in, as you know. And, um, yeah, that's kind of sorted. So, I think it's time for an early bath. Um, yeah. Definitely. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching again. And uh, do tune in again. And do subscribe. And give it a thumbs up. And encourage others to watch my lunacy. <laughs>